Well, what have we here? Look at this audience. That's splendid. We got a big house, folks. Better buck up back there. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our 14th annual Celebration of Harps. 14 years. How about that? And, yeah, sure, a round of applause. And this is the second year that we have included the Maui Community Band in our show for the holiday season. Bravo. Now, the changing of the seasons on Maui is much more subtle than in northern climates. Where it's cold, you might experience beautiful golden autumn days, yellow, mellow, ripened days, sheltered in a golden coating on the dreamy, listless breeze. Red and yellow leaves are floating down past the golden trees. Well, not if you live on Maui. This afternoon on Maui, we present Harps and Horns in Harmony, a delightfully creative combination of sounds featuring the Festival of Harps under the direction of Ginny Morgan Wolf. A round of applause. The Maui Community Band, under the direction of Lisa Owen. Come on stage, folks. This is the brass section for the opening number. And the Maui Madrigal, under the direction of Cameron Keys. Lisa Owen, who has retired as the band director at Seabury Hall. My daughter studied under her. Bravo, Lisa leads our music makers in our first number. We open our show tonight with Salite, a composition by Mike Schultz, a German composer of 1600, who later changed his name to uh, Michael Praetorius. <laughs> I don't blame him. Uh, Praetorius sounds much more scholarly than Schultz. Don't you agree? Ladies and gentlemen, Please welcome the Maui Band Brass Ensemble, the Maui Madrigal, and the Festival of Harps in a premier performance scored especially for this very combination of music makers by Ginny Morgan Wolf. Lisa? <laughs> Oh, they're 
Salite. Bravo, bravo. Thank you, Lisa. The Maui Brass Ensemble will see them again soon. Harvest time was often celebrated with dance. A round of three country dances by Thomas Ravenscroft featured three Elizabethan popular tunes sung during that time. It would be like today if someone sang three popular Beatles songs at the same time. What a delight. Cameron? Sing out. Thank you. Now, picture yourself in Ireland in the year 1688. A young apprentice blacksmith with a promising career was blinded by smallpox. A neighbor next door taught him how to play the harp. Turlo O'Carolan soon became Ireland's most beloved harpist. As he traveled the countryside, he collected melodies that appeared in his own compositions. Many songs were dedicated to beautiful young ladies that he met. Here's one about Fanny Powers. I wish to speak of a gracious young lady, a lovable lady of beauty and reputation. She's lively, airy, a cultured fine maiden, the love of all Ireland and a nice cultured pearl. She's nice, gentle Fanny of locks and braids who often gets the prize for beauty. 
Oh, drink up now and don't be slack to Fanny, the daughter of David. Fanny Powers. And beautiful indeed. Bravo. Our soloists this evening come from all walks of life on Maui. Each has chosen a solo that expresses their individual skills and interests. Ginny and Alfie Morganwolf are retired math instructors from Maui College. Alfie taught math for 43 years before retiring in 2011. What perseverance! He, he himself built the harp on which he performs. Bravo, Alfie. Ginny has directed Early Music Maui and the Harp Festival since 1991. She performs on a replica of a Spanish harp from the 1600s. Isa Inca was born in Sweden, but has lived on Maui since she was five years old. She performs regularly with her husband at Pita Paradise in Wailea, she is also a talented singer and visual artist, and she can dance. Isa, won't you join us? Isa, take the stage. Now, when we think of Spanish dances, we think of exciting rhythms, brightly colored dresses, and strumming guitars. But it wasn't always like that. Baroque dance in Spain was quite elegant and smooth. Lisa will dance the Peridatus.
Now the Zerabandus. Issa is going to make a costume change. If you thought that costume was beautiful, wait till you see the next one. Now, when the Spaniards first entered the New World, and no, I'm not going to be doing a fan dance, I promise, they heard many exciting new rhythms unknown to the European continent. At first, the Europeans were scandalized by the racy rhythms and the dance moves that showed the ankle and the wrist. Oh my goodness. As time went on, Spain incorporated these new rhythms into their own dances. Zerambeques was an African slave dance of the New World. Zacares imitates the ne'er-do-well youth that hung around the street corners. We still have them today, don't we? With their own spinning dance forms. And Bacchus is a New World dance in honor of wine the potent firewater that was newly introduced by the conquistadors. By the way, Ginny has transcribed these dances from an early harp manuscript of the 1600s. Since there was no YouTube video to show how the dances looked, many long hours of research went into the recreation of these pieces. What you are seeing is living history. Isa? Zeran Beckes. Paris. Thank you. 
Bravo. And now the Bacchus. Talk about some beautiful ankles. And her wrists aren't too bad either. <laughs> Mahalo, Isa. Beautiful. Elaine Olson, lovely Elaine, has lived on Maui since 1980. She plays with the musical groups Tropical Harps and Upcountry Celtic. Elaine worked for the University of Hawaii Haleakala Observatory as a software engineer for 30 years before retiring. She plays an Irish harp strung with 30 bronze strings made by triplet. Josephine's Waltz is a Swedish tune originally played on the Nikelharpa. It has become very popular with Celtic musicians. Elaine?
Harvest Home is a well-known hornpipe first published in the 1800s. The hornpipe is a dance from England, Scotland, and Ireland. It may have been created by English sailors in the 16th century. The hornpipe gets its name from an early double reed instrument made from animal horn. And anybody who knows how to dance it, be free to join us right downstage. Elaine? Bravo. Thank you, Elaine. Well played, Lass. Well played. Irene Riding will share some music on the pedal harp, which is commonly used in orchestras today. Irene has lived on Maui for 12 years, performing for weddings and other events. She is also a certified harp therapy practitioner, volunteering for Hospice Maui to bring harp music to the bedside. Irene recently combined her love of music and travel with a trip to Liverpool, England, where she was inspired to perform a medley of some familiar songs on the pedal harp. Also known as the concert harp, the pedal harp uses the mechanical action of pedals to change the pitch of strings. If you can see, there are seven pedals, one for each note. Each pedal has three positions, natural, flat, and sharp. Now, autumn is a time for harvest abundance, dance, and merriment. In Ireland, the land of harps and Celtic music, great famine in the 19th century caused a mass migration across the globe. Many Irish immigrants landed in nearby Liverpool. They brought the musical heritage with them and retained a strong sense of community in Liverpool. Now, four lads, descendants of Irish immigrants, rebranded their knowledge of Celtic music into popular songs that have dominated the charts for over 50 years. John, Paul, George, and Ringo, better known as the Beatles. Irene will share a medley of some Beatles songs. 
you may remember many of the melodies in this medley.
wonderful love. Lovely. Lovely rendition. Bravo. Bobby Joe Curley has lived on Maui since May of 2011. Now, after sailing the South Pacific with her husband and son for several years, Maui called Bobby Joe from her New Zealand home. They sold the 51 foot catch, Hypnautical, and shipped everything here. She not only plays the harp, but she also teaches singing and music privately and sells harps and crystal flutes. She and her husband have a wedding business, the Maui Marrying Muse, which specializes in elegant, simple, and stress free weddings on the beach. She plays a walnut blade levered, walled sewn Celtic harp, the last of their kind. The maker has passed away. No more Wold Song harps will ever be made. Bobby Joe. Iron clad feathered feet pounding the dust on October's day towards evening. Sweat embossed veins standing proud to the plow. Salt on a deep chest. Seasoning, last of the line at an honest day's toil, turning the deep sod under, flint at the fetlock chasing the bone, flies at the nostrils plunder, the Suffolk, the Clydesdale, the Percheron one. The shire on its feathers floating, hauling soft timber into the dusk to bed on a warm straw coating. Oh, heavy horses move the land under me behind the plow guiding, slipping and sliding. When there's no work to do, the tractor's on its way. Let me find you a fee for your proud stallion steed to keep the old line going. And we'll stand you abreast at the back of the wood behind the young trees growing. Hide from eyes that mock at your girth, your eighteen hands at the shoulder. And one day when the oil barrens have all dripped dry, and the nights are seen to draw colder, they'll beg for your strength, your gentle power, your And you'll strain once again to the sound of the gods in the wake of a deep love sharing. Oh, heavy horses, move the land under me, behind the cloud guiding, slipping and sliding free. Now you're down to the few and there's no the track is on its way. Standing like tanks on the brow of the hill. Into the cold wind facing. Against 
brass to flash the dawn. Across these acres glistening like dew on a carpet lawn. In these dark towns folk lie sleeping as the heavy horses thunder by to wake the dying city with the living horsemen's cry. At once the old hands quicken, bring pick and wisp and curry comb, thrill to the sound of all the heavy horses coming home. Clad feathered feet pounding the dust on October's day towards evening. Sweat in moss veins standing proud to the plow. Salt on a deep chest seasoning. Bring me a wheel of unbroken wood of rain. A heavy horse and a tumbling sky Growing heavy weather Bravo. I love it. Now Bobby Joe plays Ring Out These Solstice Bells. Three, three, four. Let's wait for Ginny. Winter is the glad song that you hear Seven maids move in seven times Get the lads already in a line Bring out these bells Bring out rings Beneath the mistletoe, beneath the holly oak where all it grows, seven druids dance in seven times, sing the song of bells, call loudly chiming. Sister Sun, joyful as a silver planet's run. Seven druids dance in seven times. 
sing the song of bells, call out the chime. Our last harpist, Lily Swan, is the newest harpist on Maui. She has lived on Maui for nine months and lives in Hana. Besides playing the harp, Lily is also a gifted pianist, flautist, and vocalist. When she is not playing the harp, she is a fiber artist and makes mandala quilts. Now Lily is playing a 36-string lever harp made with carbon fiber. Painted to look like wood, but carbon fiber? Does that mean that the body of the harp is waterproof and light as a feather? Sounds great for treks to the beach, don't you think, for weddings? Let's hear how it sounds on stage. Now, Lily will perform two of her own compositions. Inner Space is dedicated with profound gratitude to the beauty of the earth that nourishes our souls. When we connect with the natural world, and allow it to touch us with its beauty, it opens us in a way that is not otherwise possible. There is a garden in my mind and I like to go there all the time I like to see what I might find in the garden of my mind I see trees reaching up to the heart of the sky I see sunlight streaming down a river rolling by and I hear the sound of my own heart calling me to fly in the garden of my mind Thank you. 
Sounds like a beautiful place to be. In Harvest Peace, Lily wonders, how can we cultivate peace within ourselves and around us so that eventually it spreads to the world? Each of us has an opportunity to participate in its unfolding every day. Each time we choose to be loving and kind, each time we practice understanding and compassion, we are cultivating peace on earth for ourselves and for our children. Peace on earth, how do we begin? When there's so many people and so many strangers, how can we make friends? Well, it starts right now, it begins within. If we open our hearts, we're each doing our part. Creating a world we all long to live in Peace on earth Peace on earth As the rain washes down to the sea As the stars watch over the earth As the seasons turn in their endless dance I know we are all part of a larger plan For peace on earth Peace on earth it's the natural order of things From seed to blossom to fruit Peace is the harvest of kindness And love is the root Well, it's up to us We can't wait for anyone else Let greed and aggression give way to compassion There's nobody here but ourselves As the rain washes down to the sea As the stars watch over the earth As the seasons turn in their endless dance I know we are all part of a larger plan For peace on earth Peace on earth song for the season. Cameron Keys, the inimitable Cameron Keys, is the conductor of the Maui Madrigal, and he's lived on Maui since 1993. He directs the Maui Madrigal, devoted singers who have become, uh, they've been performing on Maui for almost 20 years. And when he is not singing or conducting, he plays saxophone with the Maui band. You'll see him in the second half. 
He works as a mechanic at the Lexus dealership in Kahului. Now, interesting contrast. He sings while he works. <laughs> Medieval banquets were often begun with a procession of singers bringing the guests into the great hall for a night of feasting, singing, and dancing that would officially begin the holiday season. The Maui Madrigal presents a sampler from the Boar's Head Christmas Feast. Masters in this hall, bringing news today, brought from o'er the sea, ever I you pray, going o'er the hills, through the milk white snow, over my year is bleak, while the wind did blow. Now, we'll deck the hall. Deck the hall with boughs of holly, fa la 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 Tis the season to be jolly, fa la 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 Tell me now our gay affairs, fa la 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 So much talent on Maui, and now they sing Vitro Glorioso. I'm sorry, I do have to tell you a little bit about this song. Vitro Nostrum Glorioso, and it's uh, from the late chant period, and when we first learned it, it sounded like something we would do in church, but basically it was written by the monks who make the best liquor. <laughs> <laughs> you know them well, Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> Lessons to be learned. <laughs> Yeah. 
Vindicheribus meis. Rose Well sung. Well, is there anything left in the wassail bowl, Cameron? Another one of my favorite drinking <laughs> Wassail, wassail, all over the town. Our toast is white and our ale it is brown. Our bowl is made of the maple tree. With a wassailing bowl, we're drinking to With a wassailing bowl, we'll drink to thee, drink to thee, drink to thee. With a wassailing bowl, we'll drink to thee. And here is a Dobbin into his right eye. Great God, send our master a good Christmas pie, and a good Christmas pie that may we all see. With a wassailing bowl, we'll drink to thee, drink to thee. broad horn. May God send our master a good crop of corn, and a good crop of corn that may we all see. With a wassailing bowl we'll drink to thee, drink to thee, drink to thee. With a wassailing bowl we'll drink to thee. Come butler, come fill us a bowl of your best, then we open heaven, their soul home may rest. But if you do draw us a bowl of the small, then down to the bottom, bowl and all. Drink to thee, drink to thee, with a wassailing bowl, we'll drink to thee. And here's to the maid in the lily white smock, who tripped to the door and slipped back the lock, who tripped to the door and pulled back the pin, for to let these jolly wassailers in. Next in the repertoire of the Madrigal, Cantate Domino. They did go to church. <laughs> <laughs> Cantate Domino, Canticu. Oh, 
cathedral here. And now, lo, how a rose air blooming. Lovely. Thank you. And now, before we send you off to intermission, the signature song that the Maui Madrigal sings every time we present the Boar's Head Christmas Feast. Let us serve it in 
It's a great dance partner, Ginny. Bravo to the Maui Madrigal and to Cameron Keys. We will now take more, more, more. Take a bow, Madrigal. We will now take a 20-minute intermission while we set the stage for the out orchestra. When we come back, the Maui Community Band will fill the stage. Now, don't forget to have a look at the CDs and books for sale by our musicians. You can do all your holiday Christmas shopping right outside <laughs> to help support the wonderful musicians on Maui. And we have a few, don't we? A musical Merry Christmas. See you in a few. Aloha. Beautiful is the song. 